Hey guys, I'm here with a new set for Standard and I've been looking at uh, brewing a couple different decks, but the one that jumped out at me first of all was Boros Convoke. With the addition of Novice Inspector, I think this really takes this deck to the next level. So I kind of I rebuilt the deck and tried to make it as low to the ground as humanly possible. It runs 18 lands and um, <clears throat> let's see, I think 22 one drops eight two drops, eight three drops, then you've got Night Earner Vios, which is kind of somewhere in between. But yeah, so basically you have, the important parts about this deck is you have 14 artifacts between uh, Voldaran Epicure, Novice Inspector, Yoshin Frontliner, and then two copies of Halo Hopper to enable Gleeful Demolition. So the you know basically the plan is to um, get out a bunch of creatures, go for Night Earner Vios, find Imidane's Recruiter via Warden of the Inner Sky, um, or just by naturally drawing it, or with Night Earner Vios, and then pump your whole team and push for the win. For the top end, we've got four copies of Imidane's Recruiter, and then two copies of Sanguine Evangelist, which is kind of like sort of the um, fifth and sixth copies of Recruiter, um, just not quite as good, but still very good. And then Bunnicorn is kind of our way to go tall. We have a ton of creatures here, and so these are regularly 8-8s, 9-9s, 10-10s. The mana is very painful. So um, basically to try to give myself the best mana possible, I'm taking a ton of pain. So I have uh, four pain lands, four copies of Thran Portal, and then three Myrix. So... Functionally, we have um, 15 white sources and 14 red sources out of 18 mana just to give us the best chance of you know, drawing into what we need and not having the mulligan too often. Um, but yeah, this, this deck is lightning fast. Uh, it's incredibly low to the ground, and I'm super excited to be taking this deck into standard here to see how Novice Inspector uh, really takes it to the next level. So let's go ahead and jump into some games. If you're new here to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. Um, if you like the content, please consider subscribing, maybe dropping a like or a comment, or sharing it with a friend who might like it. And for my returning viewers, thank you so much again for being here. I really appreciate your support. It does mean the world to me. But yeah, this deck is really fun. It's really fast. Its uh, mana is not perfect, but it's uh, as close as I can make it. So hopefully, hopefully we get some good draws here. All right, this is amazing hand. We've got both uh, Frontliner, Voldar and Epicure, Double Demolition, Bunnicorn. Can't wait. All right, let's, yeah, let's hope we get some more white. Um, I guess here we can go for Novice Inspector. And then um, let's blow up this blood token. Okay, that was a great draw. Yeah, so now we can put out uh, Frontliner, Demolition plus, actually let's go, uh, sorry, Demolition plus Bunnicorn here. So let's attack first.
Unless they've got a board wipe. That's probably going to do it. Okay, so they block Bunnicorn this turn. Oh yeah, yep, <laughs> that's gonna be more than enough. Does have the capability of having just some completely insane draws, and the games are lightning fast. Win or lose. And I feel like if, uh, if Blue White Control doesn't have temporary lockdown on turn three, like they're just dead. Yeah, opening hand looks great. Okay, we'll lead out with Inspector. Then next turn we can go Halo Hopper and prepare for Knight Errant. Demolition makes it even better. So we can just go straight to Knight Errant. Yeah, they're just gonna pack it in. That is the power of Boros Convoke. Uh, opening hand looks great. Got Warden plus Epicure. So let's lead out here with Epicure. This way, in case they have removal for our Warden, like we've still got enough things in play to be able to activate before they have priority. I think we want to hold the Aganjo here. Yeah, reinforcements is pretty good. Ah, unfortunately they did pick up the recruiter. That sucks. Demolition is great also. I think we can ascend with everybody here um, instead of trying to get Warden up in the air. I suppose actually having it in the air can help potentially block the Cavern Bat, but we're missing some damage there. I 
And I want to hold the Ganjo open in case they decide to attack with Gix. Hmm. Um, I mean, they know about it, so then they won't be able to block. I think we just push. So we could use the blood token to cycle frontliner to be able to unearth it. Um, if we do that and we swing with everybody, they go to eight. These are fun functionally two twos. Um, so I guess they like block one of these. They take two, three, four, five. Yeah, not quite enough. I think it's still worth cycling it here. Oh, never mind. Let me tap that differently. Yeah, that's a that's a great draw. lose the frontliner but that's um, actually we'll still have access to it uh, I forgot yep they're gonna need a lot to get out of this one Gix is definitely not gonna do it Okay, so if we swing in now with everything, they have force blocks. They block five creatures. One, two, three, four, five. We hit them for two. But we do get both of their cavern bats, which I like. So I think we do it. Okay, where do we put the pumps? I think we just put them on one ones here. Let's put one on the token and the other one on the frontliner to try to get it in the yard. They must have cut down. Oh, never mind. They're they're tapped out. That should do it. Unless they've got like Gix's command.
Anyways, the deck is a lot of fun. Um, let's take a quick look. I've done a couple games with it, and let's just take a look. Okay, so the uh, games that I've cast here, I did go 3-0, and um, which is great, but overall the deck is 78% win rate, so it's 7 wins and 2 losses. Um, yeah, outside of like having a bad hand, I mean, the deck is just lightning fast. It's really, really great against control. Um, it can it even out even outraced um, mono red here in this match. So, yeah, I just I love the changes. I think that novice inspector is exactly what this deck needed. Um, yeah, try it out. See what you guys think. The deck list will be in the description. And thanks again, guys, for watching. We'll see you here tomorrow.